Hello and welcome back to Rumble Blankets. And we are about to go on a night mission. We're about to go on a sneak attack. Guys, sneak attack. We're about to sneak attack some beefaloes. So you're definitely going to want to be on board for this one. I'm going to go ahead and let's store some of this random crap first. Because I'm carrying around a lot of just random stuff that I don't need before I go on this mission. We want to be traveling light. We want to be like a ghost in the darkness. Here we go. All right, so other things we may need. We are not going to need buffer butterflies for this mission. Butterflies are not a required operative item for this mission, but we are going to need a razor, so let's go find that. Oh, and it's not in there, so it's going to be in the next box. All right, we got ourselves a razor. Let's do this thing. We've got enough wood. All right, so this is going to be awesome. Off we go. So we're going to do our best to try and find the beef low herd here, and I'm going to shave them in the night. Shave them in the night like some kind of terrible super villain. That'd be a terrible superpower. The ability to shave things in the night. That would be a strange superpower. So what we're going to do... Why won't you let me build a campfire? Let's see here. Maybe it's too close to the beefaloes. Oh, not too close to the beefaloes. That is definitely not the issue. All right, so let's build this thing up. Hopefully the beefaloes are not flammable. I built this up kind of high. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to equip... Oh, never mind. You have to shave. There we go. <laughs> we have shaved the beefalo. And now we're going to kind of push him out of the way here. Oh, no. He's awakening. He's awakening. Run. Oh, he looks so unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Sling Blade. I guess I'll go get some french fried potatoes. <laughs> oh my god. That's awful. I feel terrible. Look at him. Now he's not going to get asked to beefalo prom. His whole day is just ruined. I feel like such a douchebag right now. <laughs> Pick up rot. Huh. Never seen that item either. I don't know if I want it. You can eat rot. I don't know if I want to tempt fate like that. <laughs> Tempting fate in that manner seems to be generally a terrible idea, but we do, oh my god, we have enough fur now to make a beefalo hat, and also I needed to pick up poo while I was over here. That was kind of a side part of our mission, but I figured if I opened the episode up by being like, we're going on a sneak attack to pick up feces, let's do it, I don't think many people would have tuned in. So, I had to kind of trick you to get you here, I apologize, it was, nece it was necessary, it was necessary. So now, I'm going to head back to camp real quick. We did make our handy dandy refrigerator. It does not seem to be doing a very good job. Our food still seems to be spoiling at a rather rapid rate. So I don't know if that's a bug or if it just doesn't work like I think it should. Which I'm kind of thinking of it as like a freezer where it just keeps everything good forever because it looks kind of like an industrial freezer. But now that I have more poo, we can make more farm plots. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, we need more stone and it didn't put the poo in my inventory. There we go. So, let's go get the stone real fast. Let's get the stone. And there it is. And I'm going to put my razor back in here. I'm going to hide the evidence so that the beefaloes start poking around at night, start doing a little detective work, because beefaloes are notoriously inquisitive. If they start poking around, they won't find out my horrible, horrible sin that I've been sneaking around at night shaving them. And the last thing we need is the beefaloes having, like, some kind of beefalo Batman that shows up to try and stop us. The Shavist. God, that would be a terrible superhero. Oh, we need more grass. How very, very unfortunate. Well, I suppose I will use the rest of this then to fertilize this grass up here, which I never got around to fertilizing. So hopefully it will grow. You can see that the little picture changes. I'm kind of afraid that if I accidentally click my character with the poo, she'll like rub it all over her face and make like war paint or something. Luckily, that doesn't seem to be the case. That's already fertilized. And I think you have to fertilize them, like, literally every time that you go and gather. That kind of sucks. That is a bit cumbersome. Like, I don't need to re-fertilize the berry bushes. They kind of just do their own thing. Now, what else did we need to do? We need to take our butterflies and thumb them into the ground like jerks. So let's go ahead and we're going to commit some animal cruelty here. And I ran out of manure before I fertilized that. God, I'm... I am not on my A game today. I'm just not thinking. But we are going to go down here and make the bees happy by giving them some, them some things to pollinate. Where's my bee box? Bee box? Bee box? Dear Lord. There it is. Oh, my God. It's just brimming with honey. Fantastic. No! 
No, 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 no. No, butterflies, no! I clicked the wrong button, I left clicked. No! <laughs> oh, butterfly flutter by. How depressing. All that work for all that. Well, as I said, not on my A game today. You know what, I'm gonna make a beefalo hat just to make myself feel better. This is ridiculous. I don't feel good about this. I'm not happy about it. If I click this bee box over here, will it give me the honey? How do I gather the honey? I don't think I've gathered honey. Oh, it lets me harvest, okay. All right, so we got six honey. That's actually a lot of honey. That's not bad. That will actually keep us going for quite a bit. The honey is pretty useful. I know you can use it in recipes with the crock pot, which, ah, that's another thing we need to make. We need to make our crock pot. So, now that we've, not we, now that I've completely screwed up and let all of our butterflies go, I'm losing my train of thought. That's just how terrible I'm playing today. I'm just losing my train of thought, not knowing what I want to do. Let me go ahead and take a look at our structures. It's not in structures. It's going to be there. For the crock pot, we need stone. We have stone. We need twigs. We have twigs. Oh, we need cut stone. Okay, and we need charcoal. All right, so let's take the rest of... Well, I don't have anything to put in this box. Let's go down here. And I do need to store things. I guess I'll put the rest of the beefalo wool in there, and this is going to be super awesome. We're going to make a beefalo hat. That's what I was thinking about doing. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Indeed, Han Solo, indeed. Now, we have a beefalo hat, and we're looking surprisingly more threatening right now. Like, I feel like ready to sack a monastery, or generally fight with some knights, or just or fight with some, you know, just fight with pirates and knights, ninjas, any of the other iconic warrior classes. Now, now that we've done that, I'm going to put the honey. The honey's going to go bad. I'm going to put that in the ice box real quick. And I am going to take a moment. You can use charcoal as a fuel, and it actually works very, very well as a fuel. Not surprisingly, you can use it. Can I harvest these already? Oh, you can. Interesting. I wonder what happens if I harvest those early. They probably die or something, and then I need to refertilize them. Now, I needed to refine some stone, so let's go ahead and make some stone blocks here. And once we get those made, we're going to go back to our food situation menu. We're going to make ourselves a crock pot. And I don't know if the crock pot is flammable, so I kind of want to keep it far away from anything that might be flammable. Now, the crock pot is super awesome. It's going to let us cook any combination of four items and make, like, super filling food. Like, food that is just amazing for you. The crock pot tends to be a pretty good idea to get up and running. And now what I think I want to do is get a bird trap going, because I do think I should get a bird cage. Our spear is almost broken, but if the spiders come around, they're going to get stuck. I'm going to stick them like a figurative pig. And it doesn't look like they're going to come out here and fight with us. I do need the light radius from that, though, to get out here so that Charlie doesn't eat me. And what else do I have to do here? I already have a bug net. And now for the survival menu here, for a bird trap, I need four silks. So let's find some silk. We'll throw that into our inventory, and we're going to get some bird traps going. And also we're going to eat some seeds, because I don't want to starve. And so now, there we are. We have a bird trap, and I think I'm going to take the bird trap, and I'm going to set it up over here, away from my bunny traps, because maybe the birds in this are smart. Maybe they're like, I don't know, what's a smart bird? A parrot? A pelican? I don't know. Once we have a smart bird that figures out that this isn't going to work, we don't need any strange bird attacks going on. Because once they find out we're not friends anymore, maybe they won't come around anymore. I don't know. But we're going to catch birds. And what we can do is we can kill them to make a feather hat or bee. We can actually catch them and put them into a bird cage. Which is, I'm thinking, how I'm going to use the birds. Because you can actually use them to reproduce whatever seeds you want. And since we've got durian here, durian is remarkably good at restoring your health. And generally, it's just a, it's really smelly. Like, apparently durian smells terrible. It smells like farts wrapped in old bacon or something. I don't know. Bacon smells good. What am I saying? Farts wrapped in old rotten bacon. There we go. I've got, I have to add an extra adjective there. Farts wrapped in skunk something. I don't know. So sue me. My analogies are not so good. Now, we do have some things in here, and I'm kind of debating what I want to do next. We need to go on adventure. Or adventure. We do need to go on adventure. And I'm going to fight with these these guys here because I need more research points. And I'm kind of bored. Hopefully more of their friends will show up. We do need more silk. I think the next project that I'm going to lend myself to is getting rid of that spider nest to the south. I think that's probably what we want to do next. So let's go for war. Arachnid war. So I'm going to put... I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I'll cook these because we do need more food. 
And I accidentally ate it. Crap. So now, we'll take the charcoal, we'll throw it in the box over here. I do need to clear some space because there's going to be a lot of drops that we're going to have to deal with. I'm going to bring the amulet with me. Because things could get hairy here. Things could get ugly. And I need to make another spear. So I think I need a rope for that. So we'll make that. Is it two ropes you need for a spear or just one? Okay. So we've got an extra spear. We've got a backup spear, if you will, in our back pocket. And we're just going to... God, this is going to get really ugly really fast. So wish me luck. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? That one looks... Oh, he leaps. That one's got war paint. He does not look happy to... Oh my god, he leaps at us. I just said that, but you'd think I would have... So I think he's got to go. Our our wood suit is going to soak up most of the damage here. I'm just going to spank and tank. I'm just going to be a horrible mate, like a meathead right now and not even bother to try and dodge any of this. And it looks like you can't get out of the way of that. It looks like you just... Oh, no, my spear broke at the worst the worst possible moment. He's got, like, Braveheart. He's like the William Wallace of spiders right now. He's just not happy that we were attacking. So this is a tier 2 spider nest. And I don't know if there's a way to dodge that. I'll probably look that up in between episodes because I kind of feel like I'm being an idiot here and just face tanking this. It's you or me. That is indeed the case. Now, we didn't get any spider eggs, which is disappointing. The spider eggs would have been useful, but I simply cannot have that nest near there anymore. If it upgrades two more times, it's going to turn into a nest that will spawn spider queens. And I don't think we want spider queens within like 10 feet of our base. That's not going to end up well for us. I don't even know how to fight a spider queen right now. It just seems like a recipe for heartache, and this series ending well before it's time. So what I'm going to do is cook up all this spider meat, sacrifice it to the research gods. That's what they need in this game. If the de developer, if you're watching, there needs to be... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh my god, she ate... <sighs> like I said, clicking can be a little iffy in this. I feel so smart. <laughs> I hope so, because you just ate monster meat. Now, we didn't suffer too much damage. I'm going to throw my eggplant in there. We have our crock pot. We have our roasted berries. I'm going to eat those real fast to get my health back up because those berry trees are going to rebloom anyways, and these are going to go bad very shortly. And so now we kind of have to decide what else we want to do for the day. And in lieu of really any plant, aside from getting rid of that spider nest, I think what I'll do is come around, and we're going to pick up some of these rabbits here. And hopefully we don't trigger Krampus. We haven't killed any spiders in a while. I'm, I'm sorry, we haven't killed... We've killed tons of spiders. So if if spiders were Krampus-reliant, I think I can get this one as it runs by. There we go. So we got him. I'm going to cook up some meat because you can bait hounds with meat. So sorry, bunnies. You're going to have to take one for the team for now. I'm going to line them up for more efficient killery. There we are. And uno, dos, trace. My apologies to the bunny people. Lawrence, I hope you're not watching from your little crate over there. I am not the best at shielding your innocent eyes from the horrible things that I do to your kinsmen. Now, we're going to cook these up. Oh, we're not going to eat it raw. Don't eat it raw. It just makes you look like a barbarian. I know you've got the hat, but we don't need to get into character. And these traps are just catching tons of stuff. I should probably bait this trap up here with seeds. I bet seeds are what do it. So let me see if I can get one to poop seeds. Betray your brethren. Help me catch them. Poop seeds that I might catch them and... Alright, so apparently the game decided to crash. I'm gonna go ahead and do some investigation, some sleuthing, and figure out what's going on. This is probably a good spot to break it off anyways. My name is Splattercat. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>